what we're going to dive into next will be next week's games. Hey, this is what I'm doing. Hey, if you're going to bet, do it at your own risk. But this is my, what I'm rolling with this week. This week, let's let's go to um and see the numbers on it. I had it. I like looking at it. I looked at it earlier. I, I know what I like, but I want to make sure and keep it, you know, keep it going how we should. This week, we're going to start off with um, Thursday game. And it's the first game of the week. We got Sask at Toronto. Chad Kelly is back. Chad Kelly is back, guys. Reinstated by the CFL. He's saying he's a changed man. He's doing better. He's going to make sure he shows the league that his character is better. He's not going to get in trouble again. But he hasn't played all year this year. And the last time we've seen him, it wasn't good. Montreal tore him apart. So it's out. he's going to come back real fiery, ready to go. He's been sitting out for a while. Or he's going to come back and look like Nathan Rourke. And I'm expecting the latter to look more like Nathan Rourke than he did for most of the MOP season. Just because he's been off for so long, hasn't really got time to practice like he like he would want to with his players. Um, different receiver core a little bit, slight change, but we're gonna go with um. I like Sass and I like the two plus two point five. Trevor played well. I expect him to go on the road this game and handle business against Toronto. Winnipeg gets a bye week. They play Hamilton. Minus nine point five. I'm taking Winnipeg to cover that. Um. It's a bye week, whatever. Chris Jones is there. Whew, Lord. Oh, um, whew, Lord. Okay. Um, we're going to go. And then we got the BC and Ottawa game on Saturday. Whew. Nathan Roy gets his win. He wins this week. He comes back. He got a little bit of time to practice with his guys. I expect him to look a lot better to get the players back. Roland Holland's been struggling out there at receiver. A lot of drops. I expect him to find his... uh. His foot and back with Rourke. I expect McKinnis to find his, um, to get back open like he was at the beginning of the year. Um, I don't, the teams have figured him out, but I think with Rourke, he'll open up another dimension for them, at least for right now. And I think Hatcher gets it, gets it back going for them. So I like them against Ottawa. I know Ottawa's like, Nick, you never pick us. Well, keep doing what y'all do. Keep, keep proving me wrong. But I like BC this week to, to win this game. I like them minus one. BC, I'm picking them this week. Um, the last game of the week, big one, Edmonton versus Montreal. Cody freaking Fajardo is back. Alexander played well. He held the fort down. And like I said, you need your starting, you need your backup quarterback in this league to be good, to hold the fort down when you need him to because this 18-game season is brutal. Your quarterback is probably going to get hurt. And it's been going around the whole league for the most part, except for – Calgary's quarterback, Jake. Jake's just the most non-getting hurt quarterback in the league. But besides that, pretty much every other team, your quarterback get hurt, your backup got to step up, and Alexander did that. But they play Edmonton this week. I like Montreal to cover minus six. They, they've been well. I, I expect them to go back home, get the crowd into it, get a couple early, early turnovers against them. Trey Ford don't look like he's playing again. So I'm going with Montreal. That's what we got for Nick Pitt, man.